Uh, my name is Jeremy Ramirez from Davenport, Iowa. I train with Military Fighting Systems. Uh, ready to put on a show. My name is Daniel Reed. I'm from Rock Island, Illinois. I train out of Marty's Martial Arts. Pretty much got led into fighting. It's a family thing. It's what we do. I was born into it. I'm just, uh, just a street fighter. I like to fight. I, I love I love to get hit, love to hit people. Um, when you go in the fight, you gotta think what you're gonna do to him and not what he's gonna do to you. I've been trying to do my homework on him, trying to figure him out, but. I'm not really worried about it. I'm just know what I'm gonna do to him. I got a lot of people coming to see me, man. I, I've been, I've trained too hard. I've trained too hard to lose. Just be ready, man. You better be preparing. I'm coming to bring it, man. Um, just be ready. Good luck. Let's have fun. Let's do it. Latino like men. Making his way to the cage in our eighth by the night here at Cage Aggression 15, Daniel Reed out of Rock Island, Illinois, representing Marty's Martial Arts. Very impressive first showing at uh, Cage Aggression Challengers earlier this year. We all know his brother Justin. Um, like we talked about earlier, you have someone who has a, a, a brother who is also a fighter. I always love those situations because it seems like those guys you have a built-in sparring partner. There's no excuses. You can't say, oh, I don't have anybody who I can fight. No, you should be able to walk right across your house <laughs> or go right across the town and be able to grab your brother and say, hey, let's get a little grappling in. Let's let's roll on the ground a little bit. So there, there's really no excuses. And that's why I think you tend to see a, a lot of brother acts do well. And a lot of times the younger brother turns out to be the fighter who's even the you know even better right right and so the challengers cards are made for fighters like daniel reed to come out be on a smaller show earn their way to the big show tonight so i want to see now that there's some more lights there's more people there's more pressure you know can he do what he did at challengers come out and impress or what happens Out of Davenport, Iowa, representing representing Militage Fighting System. When we got a chance to talk to, to him before the fight today, he was talking about and explaining how this is his first fight for MFS. Does it make a difference when you decide to switch camps? Even if you're coming from a camp that may be better, or if, is it just is it better to be somewhere different sometimes in order to get a taste from different people? I think yes, all around. It's better to get a different taste. You know, it's, a, it's pressure though to, to leave a camp and then go represent a new camp. You want to make sure that that decision was correct. So you want to win that fight for sure. Um, and then you can maybe settle down later in the camp. But yeah, it's always great to get some new some new training partners. And uh, this, this fight, face value, looks pretty even. So, you know, I, I don't know who, I, you know, I don't have any picks for this fight. Um, when I saw this before, it's just one of those where we'll see what happens. Our eighth bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cage Aggression Amateur Featherweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, and weighed in at 144 and one half pounds. He trains with Marcus Martial Arts. Joining us from Rock Island, Illinois, Daniel Reed. And his opponent, Fighting out of the blue corner, he stands 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighed in at 144 pounds. He trains with Militage Fighting Systems, joining us from Davenport, Iowa, Jeremy Ramirez! Bruce 
Allen, your referee here at Cage Aggression 15, our eighth by the night, Daniel Reed versus Jeremy Ramirez. Ramirez in the black shorts, Reed in the white. And Ramirez just comes out swinging right away. Both guys definitely. Oh, huge kick, kick right there by Reed. Wow. The patented Reed family kicks. That's what we're going to have to start calling them. That's deep. It's very deep already. I mean, lands a kick, goes right in for it. Body triangle from the bottom. Ramirez doing a good job of holding on right yeah, now. You, you have to relax right now, even though you, you're in quite a bit of trouble. And right now, to... Reed's got to think. I mean, you're probably going to say the same thing, too. How much do you want to put into this early on in the fight? Good job by Reed of jumping on top to top position right now. Reed trying to flatten out. Ramirez. Ramirez needs to uh, wall walk and then get it back standing. Both guys sort of jockeying for position on the ground right now. Reed, and, and you see a little bit more experience in this with Reed. Traps a hand, traps the arm. Uh, Hops right into, you know, full mount. Also landing a little knee to the stomach, you know, as he jumped into that full mount. And this is where Ramirez needs to get to a side hip. And once again, we've got the corner, you know, right here. But looking for that shrimp out. Rear, rear naked choke coming from Reed. Trying to, trying to really uh, sink that in and then lay back. Ramirez thinking about tapping right there. Now it's locked in tight. And it's it's a it's a wrap. That to me that seemed like a fight where you have someone who was a little bit more experienced. Even though Reed's record may not show it, we spoke with Mike Goodwin and we talked with him before, and he spent hours and hours and hours yeah. sort of waiting until he was old enough to be able to jump into this and do this. Uh, as an amateur fighter, so right. you see that experience come through right there. And it was pretty textbook. I mean, he landed the big kick. He went immediately for a guillotine, and from there went immediately into, you know, trying for that rear naked, and, you know, waited patiently and eventually got it. And this is Ramirez's first fight, so, you know, he, he, I'm sure he picked up at least three, four, five invaluable lessons that he'll be able to use next time he jumps into the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Bruce Allen, has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second in the round one, declaring your winner by submission due to rear naked choke.